This street gang in the Philippine capital, Manila, is hard at work. What these young men are making are guns, which cost very little to produce. This despite the temporary government ban on the possession of any type of firearms during the current election campaign. This is my friend. This gives me protection. This friend, I know this is the only one that will not let me down when the going gets deadly. At 18, he says he's already killed two people and won't hesitate to do it again. Almost two million illicit guns are estimated to be in circulation, but only a small number of these are thought to be in the hands of criminal groups. Instead, most of them are held by private individuals. A culture of violence and a distrust of the judicial system means the bearing of arms is ingrained in Philippine society. Many believe it's easier to take matters into their own hands rather than go to the police. And obtaining legal weapons is not difficult. Illegal gun workshops like these are everywhere. It's a flourishing trade in a country where the central government has little control over many areas and armed groups compete for power. The government has very limited capacity. You know, the Philippines is a very feudal society outside the Metro Manila area. Uh, the government's ability to even enforce uh, decommissioning type uh, projects or, or gun control laws and that is very, very diminished. Despite this, President Benigno Aquino has pledged to dismantle and decommission all armed groups by the end of his term in 2016. But for many, the country's gun culture is too ingrained and the cycle of violence too hard to break. Jamal Alindogan, Al Jazeera, Manila.